Okay, so it's nine days after the Texas Shredder. It's April 21st, and I just wanted to share a little bit of my experience um, and some lessons that I learned. The first thing is don't stress about your tan. And if you have some blotchiness, don't worry. It will, you know, not matter on stage. The darker, the better. Let's see, so don't be afraid to go too dark. As far as spray tanning your face, uh, I was glad that I did it, but I'm also glad that I wiped it off in time because it got really dark and um, you do have to deal with the tan for the next three or four days um, before it like fully comes off and you might have a little blotchiness on your face as it starts to wash off and you'll just be really dark. So I think it's best to kind of get like maybe one coat, wipe it off like I did. Um, it did darken up overnight. I got two coats on my body, which was great, and I would do that again. I would use the liquid sun rays again because I felt like that worked. Um, but it really depends on who's doing your tan, so I think I would just ask them how you should prep your skin and what product to use and what works the best. And I do recommend getting your MPC card beforehand because it was an extremely long line. I think I waited in line for an hour. Um, I thought more people would be prepared <laughs> and that they would have their MPC card, but it's still one of the first shows of the year, so um, people don't automatically have their cards uh, ready. But towards the end of the year, I think that most people would. So if you do your first show um, or first show of the year, towards the end of the year, you're probably okay to wait till the show date. Um, and the reason why I did that is because I kind of put it off and then as I got closer, I was just scared I wasn't going to have it in time. So um, a way to ensure that is to get it when you're there. Um, I did my makeup and my hair before I left for um, the morning show check-in, the athletes check-in. And I'm glad that I did that. I have short hair so I didn't really have to worry about it falling out too bad. I over curled it to make sure it was like nice and huge and poofy because you can always like kind of reduce that. Um, and it ended up holding for most of the day. I just made sure I had some bobby pins and hairspray in hand. Um, also makeup for touching up my makeup. So I had my makeup and everything done in early morning went. I didn't have to worry about doing it there, looking for a mirror, all of that good stuff, lighting. Um, I think I would have been more stressed out doing that and I would rather just wait around. I don't know if you can bring a book if you want. I ended up just talking to other bikini athletes, which was fun. Um, bring food, make sure you have enough food, um, which brings me to my next topic. I wasn't really putting myself on any, um, you know, carb restrictions or water restrictions, but I didn't want to feel too full. And what I did, I made the mistake of not eating enough, I don't think, and I had a headache by the end of the night and I don't think I drank enough. Here's a really good tip. <laughs> and I should have listened to my friend, but I was just so excited. I just wanted to hurry up and put on my heels and just be ready for the stage. But um, wait till last minute before you get your um, glaze and your bikini bite, because as soon as you get your bikini bite, um, like your bikini put in place, you can't sit down and move around because it will move. Um, it doesn't work miracles, but if you stay standing, it should stay in place. So get it last minute. Um, maybe if the class before you stepping up, you know, getting lined up, then that would be a good time to get it. But even then it's like they stay and they wait in line too for a little while. Um, uh, pre-judging went a lot slower than night show. So, um, I got it too soon during pre-judging and I, didn't get it quite soon enough for the night show because um, I was like, ah, rushing because they had called us up and then I went and got it and then I got in line. So that's kind of pushing it. But um, just try and time it out. I know it's kind of hard, but just try and time it out um, so it, you're not waiting with your heels on too long. And I noticed in my pictures that my toes were kind of hanging over my shoes and my my heels were, you know, I made it look like the shoe is too small in my heel um, or too big. And so the rubber on those shoes will definitely stretch out and um, the hotter your foot is and everything like that. Um, so you don't want to be too uncomfortable in your heels. Um, and let's see, and you don't want to cramp up like my toes started cramping um, at one point. Uh, 
so yeah, just wait till last minute for all that because you have to put your heels on before you get glazed um, because you don't want to bend over and be putting on your shoe unless you have somebody that'll do it for you. Uh, so that is a really good tip. Just relax until last minute because <laughs> um, you'll be waiting in line and waiting for everybody to go in front of you and all of that. And I didn't really pump up and honestly, I don't know if it really makes a huge difference. Everybody was doing like those, you know, leg raises to pump up their butts and um, little squats and stuff, but I feel like you have to do like hundreds of them before you get like a real good pump in your butt. So just try and come in the way you need to be. <laughs> um, and a good way to fill your muscles up is with carbohydrates. So um, if you eat, that's good. I was gonna bring weights. It ended up just being a pain to have them. Definitely bring bands. I just don't like bands, so I didn't wanna do that. Another thing with makeup, I didn't have um, fake eyelashes or false eyelashes, and I think it's okay not to. I think they do look look better, but you can't really tell. Like the judges aren't really looking at your eyelashes, I don't think. So I just chunked up my mascara, like I said that I was going to, and it worked out fine for me. And my pictures look fine. Um, it's not, it doesn't look like I don't have eyelashes, and especially if you're wearing like heavy dark eyeliner, your eyelashes get lost in the dark eyeliner anyways. Um, from the stage but I originally had planned on wearing bright red lipstick until my two-year-old son ruined it and so then I just ended up bringing like a dark gloss which I thought was dark but my lips blended in with the color of my face makeup um, <laughs> and I didn't have dark enough face makeup so I had to go to uh, Target late at night and I went and got the darkest foundation that they have and ended up being perfect really and then the bronzer I had I used as my powder pretty much um, and then, so yeah, my lipstick just wasn't, ugh, it just wasn't, your lips are totally lost on stage. And I always wondered why the girls didn't wear dark lipstick. I was like, why don't they wear darker lipstick? You can't see it. And isn't it obvious after so many shows that you should be wearing darker lipstick? So the brighter, the better. Um, so I will be getting another, uh, bright red lipstick and using that next time because I really feel like it, it makes your lips pop out a lot better, um but whatever you live and you learn so dark foundation dark lipstick wait till the last minute to get your bikini bite go dark with your uh tan because you don't want to get lost on stage um put your heels on last minute bring enough food don't make the mistake of not eating on competition day um i know you get nervous but you can definitely have a pretty big breakfast and then by the time bi bikini division goes on you'll it'll be completely out of your system <laughs> and then um you could have like a huge lunch because again and even like another little light meal before um for like a dinner because I didn't get on stage till like 10 so I mean just kind of look at all the competitors see how many divisions are in front of you and bikinis usually towards the end so those are my little competition tips for uh now and if you have any more questions on tanning or anything like that, don't be afraid to just comment and ask because I try and respond to all of my comments. So yeah, that's all for now. And then I'll keep you updated on my bulking journey. And if it's working for me and if I'm making progress and all of that good stuff. Uh, and so I'll see you next time.